Well, first of all, it's important to realize that this fatigue after cancer is a multifactorial problem and there can also be a comorbid medical conditions like anemia, which influence the fatigue. So for doctors, it's important to first look if there are any uh, medical conditions which they can treat to help uh, the fatigue. But, there is a, uh, but if there's not and there's still fatigue, there are also often um, psychological factors that play a role in perpetuating the fatigue or also the, the way people cope with the fatigue. And then I think it's very important that uh, physicians ask patients uh, if they experience this fatigue and um, that they can learn to handle it in a different way so they get less fatigued. So they bring hope to the patients that they can do something about this severe fatigue after cancer. I know that in the Netherlands, but also uh, many other countries, they uh, do a lot of studies where people uh, keep moving also during treatment to, to keep in good shape and good condition to prevent them from, from coming uh, uh, severely fatigued. So that's, that's one thing. Um, the study we did, we didn't only focus on more movement and more activity, but also in a balance during a day. So what we often see is that people want to do as much as they were used to do and then they do a lot of things in the morning and then they have a complete energy drain and they, they stop doing anything in the afternoon. So you get a, a, like, like a peak and then nothing. And it's important to get more balance in that. So, and that's an advice physicians can t give to patients uh, that they first accept that maybe their energy level is less than they used to, but if they uh, start at a lower energy level and, and have it in a balance during the day, so not too much activity in the morning, but still uh, do activities in the afternoon, that will help. And what's also um, helpful is that you can have different kind of activities. So you can have social activities, cognitive activities, a physical activity. And sometimes if people do physical activity and they're tired, they don't do anything anymore. But it's good to exchange between these different types of activities. So if you have some social activity, then you uh, do some cognitive activity. And not too long, but with rest in between. So also balance in the kind of activities people do.